Hello everyone, this is Subha Mirza and I am back with the answer explanation of another PMP question. Uh, but before that, a uh, very brief introduction about myself. So I am the owner, founder and lead trainer of on-time training and consultancy services. On-time training is a professional training and consultancy virtual setup where we provide the professional training regarding the uh, portfolio program and project management. We are mainly into the PMI track and uh, we are the professional uh, mentors and uh, trainers for the certifications like PFMP, PGMP, PMP, ACP, RMP, and many other provided by the PMI. And we also do provide the project and program management uh, related consultancy to the individuals, organizations, and uh, certain groups. So if you are interested in such services, please feel free to contact us. Uh, I'm going to share my communication channels uh, by the end of this video as well as over the uh, comment section of this uh, video. Okay, so let's begin with the question today's question so this is a question and i have posted this question uh, a couple of weeks back on my linkedin channel and uh, uh, i am very glad that all of you participated uh, with a great enthusiasm and again i try to uh, make it as trickier as possible so that we uh, get a lot of engagement as well as we get uh, uh, good uh, response uh, and we give some brain teasers to our students. So let me first read out the question and then let me move to the explanation for this question. And I actually received a lot of queries about this question that is it the answer choice or is it the answer choice and why this is the answer choice. So I just asked all of those people to wait till I'm going to explain that in my video uh, explanation. Uh, so this is a question. The question says that our project manager schedules a kickoff meeting for a 12 weeks project. Two key stakeholders indicate that they are unable to attend the meeting. What is the action by the project manager uh, in this situation? And the uh, answer choices are continue with the meeting as planned and uh, send the meeting notes to the to absent stakeholders. Meet separately with the two stakeholders prior to the meeting and capture their comments and commitment. Uh, option C says that escalate the issue to the sponsor to obtain the commitment from the absent uh, stakeholders. And option D says that reschedule the kickoff meeting for a time when all the attendees are available. And let's see what is the right answer for this. So the right answer is option D. Reschedule the kickoff meeting for a time when all the attendees are available. Now, uh, the participants uh, in, the, in the poll over LinkedIn they were confused between option B and option D. And many comments that I received from my uh, my students as well as uh, from the other participants on this question, uh, they were uh, of the opinion that although D seems to be the best thing to do in the scenario, but in the real life, most of the times we have to go with option B because uh, uh, if, if, if all the stakeholders are not available at one time, it's difficult to schedule the meeting uh, eventually, then it is better to go with option b i agree let me provide my explanation to this question so first of all the way i uh, uh, uh like uh, apprehend any question that keyword and the key terminologies in the question the kickoff meeting it's about kickoff meeting what right? then it's a uh, 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 the what is the problem statement in the in the question that two key stakeholders this is important right that those are key stakeholders and they are unable to attend the meeting. Now, what should we do as a project manager? See, uh, this is what we teach to our students in our live classes as well, that when you are in a project management situation, at least in the exam, uh, in the exam, you should be going with the best practice, with the best thing to do in this situation. And of course, at times, uh, the, uh, there is a conflict uh, between what the standard suggests versus what the situation demands uh, in the real life project. And depending on the scenario, as per the real life uh, scenario, you can go accordingly. However, in the exam, you should be going with the best practices uh, suggested by the standard. Right? And this is, why the, uh, uh, this is the reason why option D is the best answer in this situation. Because if you, you as a project manager is unable to engage two key stakeholders in the meeting 
then it is better to find another slot because uh, the key, the kickoff meeting is a very important uh, meeting and we need to be understanding that what uh, is the agenda of the kickoff meeting and why the kickoff meeting requires all the key stakeholders, especially the team members in the meeting. So let's proceed with the explanation. So D, D is the right choice and I usually go with the right choice uh, in the end and I first explain that why the wrong choices are the uh, are not the best or the uh, wrong ones. So in this regard, C is going to be altogether eliminated. Why? Because if this is a uh, this is a purely project related issue, then you are not going to discuss that with a sponsor. This is your thing to deal. Uh, if the stakeholders are not available, the calendars are not matching, they are showing other priorities, this and that. The sponsor is not going to help you with that. Uh, in this way, you probably are not owning the project or your responsibilities as a project manager. So C is altogether eliminated. Now, why not A and B? A and B are like not the choices, the best choices, I would say, for the same reason. Because in both A and B, we are doing the same thing, that we are just dealing with those two stakeholders offline, not in that. But before that, I actually want to explain that what's the agenda of kickoff meeting. See, kickoff is the first formal meeting where that all the team members, the uh, the resources, the uh, stakeholders are going to uh, introduce with each other. They are going to meet each other. They are going to get to know about the project more. Uh, the project manager is going to lead that meeting and he's going to explain that why the project is being uh, executed in the organization, how it's going to help the, uh, the company as well as the, uh, the teams, the overall business, and what kind of support and engagement is he looking forward to towards uh, the uh, stakeholders and the resources and what is the different roles and responsibilities by the uh, the stakeholders and the project team members and this meeting also is a huge opportunity for the forming stage uh, the, the the same forming stage that we have studied in the Tuckman slider for team development so this is the first opportunity for the team to uh, meet up each other to get introduced to each other to get to know uh, each other that who is going to work on what area what responsibilities is going to be assigned to whom who is going to work together on multiple uh, deliverables and uh, uh, tasks so that is another opportunity why all the team members are required to be present on that platform ideally ideally like i said the best practice so reschedule the kickoff meeting for a time when all attendees are available is going to be the best choice, the best practice in this situation. But yes, if the project manager is continuously unable to find uh, like uh, a common slot for all key stakeholders and the resources and the members in the project, then probably he can go with B or with A. Because A is saying that continue with the meeting as planned and send the meeting notes as the, uh, to the two absent stakeholders later on. Like when the meeting is over, just uh, compile all the uh, all the meeting minutes and the main um, discussion points and share them as, that with them. Or uh, as in this scenario, those are key stakeholders. So maybe their uh, involvement, their power, their interest, or their influence in the project is... Uh, expected to be more than the other stakeholders so it's better this as a second best choice it's better to go uh, to the two stakeholders prior to the meeting to engage them to gain their support to get uh, to get to know about their queries and uh, to get to know more about the uh, the requirements the needs the expectation from those two stakeholders about the project after letting them know uh, about their contribution towards the project and then continue with the meeting with the re remaining stakeholders if continuously you are not able to find a common slot with the with all the primary stakeholders and the team members so yes those who have answered b they were right as per their uh, like uh, as per their real life experience and to be honest when i used to be in that position i used to be doing b as well but the best practice is to to try to find a common slot uh, if possible. And if the second time, the third time that a project manager is not able to find, then probably he can go with 
uh, B. In this case, B, otherwise A is also a possibility if those two stakeholders were just stakeholders and not the uh, more uh, most important one or the key stakeholders, then A also is a possibility. Right. So uh, I hope uh, you uh, got the explanation to this uh, question. And uh, I think most of the people went with B, uh, then with uh, D on my uh, poll. Uh, but this, this is where PMI actually helps you to get to know that where you need to uh, wear your PMI head and where you need to uh, go with the flow and as per the situation. So, uh, yeah, that's the case. And uh, if you uh, like our, uh, like uh, these uh, question answer explanation and you are interested in uh, getting to uh, know more about the project management, the PMI way, you can join our uh, live group mentoring program. The next one is starting from the 1st of July uh, this year. And uh, this is the details about my program. Uh, the same details are available on my LinkedIn and my Facebook and my website as well. So uh, if you want, you can check that over there as well. And if you want to uh, know um, more about the project management and uh, like certain other posts that I uh, used to be sharing over there and about my programs, and these are my um, communication channels. So you can easily reach out to me on WhatsApp, on call or uh, email button. My program details are uh, uh, always updated on my website, LinkedIn, Facebook. And if you like these question answer sessions by me, then there are many available on my YouTube channel as well. And I'm going to share the link in the uh, comment section. Uh, so hope guys, you have uh, liked uh, this uh, explanation. I am going to come back with another explanation very soon. Till that, take care. Goodbye.